Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today to go over just some uh, interesting article that I saw here and I didn't even know that this was going on. So the article, just to go through that really quick, at least the title of it, it's from OutKick. It is called, Is it Un-American to Root Against the UN's Women's National Team During the World Cup? And just a quick thing beforehand, if you remember, the women's national team has gone insufferably woke. Uh, and uh, while they're probably, I would expect, and again, I haven't kept up on this, I expect that they're probably going to be the favorites and win this thing, but they do have a history as it's showing on this video playing right now. You can see, well, not that part, but they just showed them uh, kneeling for the national anthem, and a bunch of their players have made very divisive comments about certain political issues that they tend to not really be knowledgeable about in the past, uh, including this person right here that they're showing, Megan Rapino. So let's go through the article and we'll see uh, what we all have to say about that. So it says the 2023 FIFA World's Women's World Cup begins Thursday. The U.S. Women's National Team starts its quest for a three-peat on Friday. I didn't know that, um, but hey, that's an accomplishment. So, but if you're rooting against the uh, U.S. Women's Team accomplishing that feat, does that make you an American? Uh, I would honestly say no but okay so that's something that i personally wrestle with as the author not me jason saying that so at first glance it seems that yes it does you should root for your country to be successful in everything that's how almost every country citizens feel and that's kind of how i feel too it's one of those things like and i've mentioned this in other videos in in the past where i've stopped watching sports altogether and sports were a massive part of my life including mainly baseball because i was a former uh baseball player not at any level of any competence <laughs> beyond uh high school and early high school at that um but i always followed baseball baseball was kind of just my interest in everything but the way i feel about it now is like you know the cubs are my team and it's like i hope they win every world series there is to win i'm just not going to be there to help them celebrate it. Um, and you know what? If they do win it, I'll be happy for them that they did. But again, I'm, I'm not going to help them celebrate. So this article goes on says, except the U.S. women's national team has such a complicated history with the United States that it muddles things a bit. Let's start with the last time the women's team took the field at the FIFA World Cup. That came in 2019 and the team won the championship. And here's what they were doing. Okay, some of the most privileged people in the nation saying, oh, God, no, we have to do this. As prior to the tournament, several players, obviously including the far left wing pink haired Re Megan Rapino, started to kneel during the United States national anthem while wearing jerseys emblazoned with USA. Mind you, yeah, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, the kneeling during the national anthem, that's extreme disrespect to your country. And in fact, if I was in charge of any sports player anywhere, not just I'm talking about the ladies here, you would not be on the team that I'm in charge of if you knelt during the national anthem. I don't care how it makes you feel. You stand up or you don't play for us. That simple. This is not an argument. It says, in fact, the players plan to do it during the World Cup, but U.S. soccer mandated that they stand and show respect for the country they represent, which they shouldn't even need to do. But here we are. It's 2023. It says, and they weren't happy about it. Players demanded an apology until U.S. soccer could repeal the policy. And I would tell them just to absolutely go F themselves. There's not a chance of that happening. Find a way to deal with it or we'll get another team. And if that means all the best players in the world get off this team and we have to start from scratch, I would be like, then that's what we're going to do. And I'm not afraid to do it. So the article goes on, says, yes, how dare U.S. soccer force players representing the USA to show respect to America on national stage, those xenophobes. So this, of course, is in sharp contrast to how other countries' athletes react during their national anthems. Take the 2022 FIFA Men's World Cup, for example. It says, during the playing of several anthems, players from around the world were brought to tears upon hearing their nation's national song. And, of course, here's the Mexican players doing that. It says, those players wanted nothing more than to win the World Cup for their homeland, of course. So the UN's women's national team does not compete for the United States. Not really. They compete for the themselves. I don't have a way to not believe that. I have nothing to counter that point. Not that I was trying to, but I never thought about it that way, but I would have to agree with it. Does the players want to gain, gain fame and notoriety and make money? Of course. Says, of course, as Americans living in a free capitalist society, that's certainly their right, but does it mean that I have to root for them to do it? And it says the U.S. women's team is constantly pushing radical left-wing talking points during or leading to into the 2023 World Cup because we have to still do that because it's 2023. It says, then there's the issue of their desire to constantly push hardcore left-wing political agendas. Some of the players even support biological men competing on the U.S. women's national team, which, of course, would displace all of the actual women on the team. Yeah, and I have a feeling this article, let's see here. Yeah, at the, down at the bottom, you can see the link that it uh, attaches, or that's a... Uh, that's uh, the link that's linked here, I guess. You know, I feel like Austin Power is doing uh, the whole, 
allow myself to introduce myself thing here. But this link is too, if you can see at the bottom, it says U.S. Women's Soccer loses old Wrexham men's team. Yeah, the, Wrexham is an English soccer club, and the cl- this club was like nowhere near the top of the English Football League. It was an, a team of like, I guess, retired players, I think it might have been. And they got their asses handed to them. But then there's also the story of, if you look it up, if you don't believe me about some of the stuff that the women's national team, this might have been back in like 2015 or something, that they played a junior varsity high school team and they got their asses handed to them by a JV, like, boys team. So, yeah, if you're not good enough to beat a junior varsity boys team and not like, it's not like, you lost by one goal or it was tied. And even if it was one goal, it was a close game. And just like there was an oopsie and you lost by that one goal. This was, you guys got your asses handed to you. Um, So yeah, you're not even good enough to beat them. Sorry. You probably shouldn't be supporting this. Um, This is because, you know, also the men have their own team, but anyway, so that's a team I have to root for simply because they were USA on their chest while the rest of the world watches the US women's team constantly disrespects the country they represent and make remarks that most of the rest of the world laughs at things like, hey, men can get pregnant too, which is obviously not true. And this is the political messaging too. I mean, uh, you know, seeing this, it's like obviously black lives matter. I mean, if you have any of these far leftists found someone that says they do not yet because I'm, I'm waiting to find that person <laughs> they obviously do but you don't need to in our sports games which is our escapism need i remind you have to remind us of something that's an obvious political slogan for an extreme far left uh essentially almost near domestic terrorist uh group so yeah there's that and i don't need to see that in any sports that i'm watching it says, even during their equal pay fight, for which they won a completely undeserved ESPY award, they diminished the U.S. men's team. Yeah, uh, I don't know about the ESPY award thing. I didn't know about that. But yeah, their equal pay fight, the, if you look at the contract, oh, here's, it actually goes into it. I'm not even going to say what's on the top of my head. It probably just says this right here. It says, as part of the legal proceedings, they had to explain why they deserve more money, and that meant proving that their team is more valuable than the men's. In that proceeding, the players claim that they win more than the men. Objectively, that's a fact. That's true. So this is, but it lacks some very important context. First of all, men from every country in the world are free to pursue a career in athletics. That's not true for women. Some countries don't allow women to show their heads and or faces in public, let alone kick a soccer ball. I'm guessing all those countries are probably in a certain region of the world that we refer to as the Middle East. So, so then, so right there, the pool of teams able to compete on a global scale is already smaller. So as Outkick founder Clay Travis puts it, The teams with the best odds to win the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup are basically ranked based on how free the women in that country are are to pursue life, liberty, and happiness. And this is Clay Travis. I'm going to skip over that embedded tweet. It says, guess which country ranks number one in that category? That's right, the United States. The same country that some of the U.S. women's national team can't stand, that oppresses them as women, the country that provides them with the opportunity to play soccer for a living and make millions of dollars doing Nike commercials. They wear Nike clothing, most of which is made by Chinese workers, majority of which are probably women. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Does want to bet those women would much rather be playing soccer? Says Megan Rapino, after being forced to stand for the national anthem, still issued a decree. I'll probably never put my hand over my heart. She told Yahoo Sports, I'll probably never sing the national anthem again. All right, what I would like you to do is to go to any of these other countries out there, especially the ones that we're talking about here, like China. Give it a shot. See how it goes for you. Let's do an exchange program. You get you and your wife get to go live there for six months or a year, and we're going to take a couple of Chinese citizens here, or whichever country that you elect, we're going to show them all the wonderful stuff that's happening in this country, and you have to deal with there. You have to live there as a Chinese citizen. Would you be able to do it for six months for a year? Probably not. They'd be fine here. You would have a problem there. Okay, so kind of like what Brittany Griner found out after she was uh, returned to the U.S. from Russia was that she was like, yeah, I kind of, she kind of had an attitude of like, yeah, I, uh, I didn't know what I was missing sort of thing and good for her for that. Um, so it says Rapino recently retired from soccer, but she's still going to compete for the U.S. women's national team at the 2023 FIFA World Cup which means Americans have to watch her angrily stand during the playing of the national anthem. And here she is on the, the left over here. Um, I don't know who are these other players here. Oh, Alex Morgan, who's also insufferably woke. And I, I know Carly Lloyd, but I don't know what, anything she said. And this is the head coach. Um, so it says, add it all up. And the U.S. women's national team makes it complicated when it comes to rooting interest in for the 2023 FIFA World Cup. But ultimately, does rooting against them make someone un-American? No, it doesn't. In fact, I might argue it's the most American thing one can do. 
Why? Because you're exercising your inherent right to freedom of speech, one of the most important ideals in this country. The U.S. women's team can trash talk the country all they want. Are they punished? No. Instead, they're frequently rewarded for it. So if I choose to root against them, that's my right. That's the beauty of the United States. God bless America. I don't really disagree with that uh, ultimate uh, conclusion of the article that if it's un-American to do that, I, I don't have a problem with that. It kind of was like what I said at the very beginning, which is I hope they win, but I'm not going to help them celebrate it. And, it, you know, and even if it was one of the players that told me that they won the World Cup themselves, I'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> Like, you guys need to understand there's consequences for your actions. But I did want to take a step back and go up to where uh, the equal pay fight thing, because the article didn't actually go over the thing that I was thinking it was about to go over. Um, but the the thing is that they wanted more pay, pay or uh, they wanted more pay because they said they win more. Part of the thing the article didn't put in here was the fact that the women were actually being paid per their contract more, uh, I think, per contest even though they make less money overall, but their contract was that they get a bigger slice of the pie than the men did for theirs. So technically, if you want to put it that way, the women were actually making more. They had a better contract than the men were. They just wanted more money, and then the men elected to cut them into what they were making. So the men basically said, oh, I guess we don't need to make as much money for doing obvious or for, you know, bringing in bigger crowds. We'll give it to you. And so that's why the women are going to be making more money now. But anyway, just to go back to the original point again, I don't think it's un-American uh, to root against the women's national team. But like I said, I will not be there uh, to watch any of the games as I normally would during the World Cup because I do get a kick out of uh, the men and women's were used to the, the women's World Cup. Um, but let me know what you guys think below. Do you think it's an American to root against the women's national team during the World Cup or not? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.